Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Today I am filming my January favourites. Can you believe that it's the end of the first month of 2015 already? I'm going to do a quick talk through of what I'm wearing on my face at the moment and then I will jump into favourites, which as always are in no particular order. I've got a real mishmash actually today, so uh, anyway. Now these aren't necessarily favourites, but on my lids I am wearing eyeshadows from the Too Faced Natural Eye Kit. Let me know if you would like a tutorial on this look. I really like the shadows, I think it's a nice wearable look, they blended well, all the things that you would look for really. A little bit of fallout, but otherwise so far so good. On my lips, I'm not sure about this, I really want to try and like these. This is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet, which everybody raves about, and people that I really respect, you know, people like the Sparklicious, you know, girls that I go on really well with and I trust their taste in beauty products. I don't know if it's just that I've got the wrong shade. I've got the shade Nudist, number seven. I'm not loving it. I can kind of, you know, they feel comfortable on the lips, but I don't know. I'm not convinced so far. Maybe I need to check out some other shades and see how I get on. Sorry. My phone's just gone. My best friend hosted a dinner party on Friday and I thought everyone was going to be doing dry January, but I took a bottle of wine anyway. Her husband is a little bit too generous with pouring the wine, so today is Sunday and uh, we're only just all texting now because uh, I just... Yesterday was hard work, let's put it that way, but it was a very nice dinner party. I mean, these are girls that I've been friends with since, I don't know, I was about seven years old and, you know, we're still friends, which I think is really nice. Last thing I want to mention are that I'm wearing are my earrings. I rarely wear earrings, but these are by Alex Munro, and I really like them. But let me know, do you think they look weird on me? I'm not sure. I never used to wear earrings because I didn't like my ears. I thought that they stuck out, and I don't actually think they do any more than anyone else's ears, but um, I don't know. just felt like I would uh, be a little bit bling and wear some gold earrings today because I've got a really boring camel-coloured top on. Anyway... Stop rambling and get on with favourites. My videos are always far too long anyway. As I mentioned, they're in no particular order, so I'm going to start off by talking about the Clarins True Radiance SPF 15 Foundation. Love this. I did a first impressions review on it, which I will link below. In that video, I wasn't too sure whether I loved it or not. I really liked the dewy finish that it gave, but I found in terms of longevity, I needed to find the right powder to pair it with to make it last on my combination skin. That's why that ended up being a review as well as first impressions, because I came back after a week and gave you my thoughts if you did manage to stay tuned till the end in that video. Um, but overall, I really love this. I've also done a blog review of it, so again, I will link that below. It's an expensive foundation, but I like it. It really does live up to that True Radiance name. Um, I guess I'll talk about the other high-end product that I've got to share with you, and that is the Kiehl's Amino Acid Shampoo. I need to do a blog review on this, um, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably do it next month, or February. This has got pure coconut oil in it, and it does have a coconut fragrance, which I don't normally go for in shampoos, but in this it's a nice, um, it's a very realistic coconut fragrance, so it's nice and soft and subtle, very pleasant. It's not like those synthetic, cheap coconut fragrances that you can get. It looks like I've barely used any, but that's because this lathers really generously and a little goes a long way. But in spite of that, it's nice and mild on my sensitive scalp. I'm only just getting into trialing lots of different hair products, and that's because I've always sort of veered away from them because I've got such a sensitive scalp. I've kind of stuck with what I know, which is my La Biocetique shampoo. But I'm being a little bit more adventurous, so there'll probably be a few more reviews and hopefully some discoveries as well. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And I love Kiehl's. I mean, who doesn't love having Kiehl's in their bathroom? It just looks so cool. It's like, it's a nice, cool brand. Okay, am I going to be able to uh, zoom through these products without waffling on before we lose light? Hopefully so. I'm going to talk about another um, hair care product. So as I said, trying out lots of different hair care. I'm trying to be a bit braver. I've really been enjoying the Boof Dry Spray. Um, this is a texturizing spray. I've been trying to find a sort of more affordable version of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray because I have a problem spending that amount of money on what is essentially an aerosol that I'm probably going to use up quite quickly. And I saw this in Boots and I just sort of thought, well, I haven't got anything to lose, it's about Fiverr. I really like it. Again, I've done a first impressions review. I'm not too sure if you guys like my first impressions videos on hair products, but I'd sort of picked it up and I thought, well, I may as well just film me using it for the first time. It was quite an experience because I'm not used to using these sorts of products, so I was a little bit too heavy-handed with the very first application, but as I got to grips with it, I really like it. It does deliver on those volumizing claims. They also offer a, hold, a hairspray. 
I don't think you need it because this gives enough hold. It does leave a residue in the hair, which isn't so much to my liking. You can work it in and it's invisible, but you can still feel that sort of clay-like texture in your hair. But I've been using this, especially when I'm doing an updo, I found it to be really good just to give a little bit of volume before I put my hair up and it also helps to add some grip as well. So I would recommend this, I like it. Who would have thought that I would have two hair care favourites? Things are changing. Not so much, because I have got a skincare favourite to share with you. And I can't actually show this to you because I've cleaned out the pot. This is the Lush Love Lettuce Fresh Face Mask. I'm kind of a little bit reluctant to, like, to recommend this because I don't necessarily think that these are the best value for money. Um, this is 75 gram pot and it looks small. I don't think they could get away with doing it any smaller. But I do find that these you have to keep them in the fridge and I do f these fresh face masks are really good I've enjoyed all of the ones that I've tried I've tried about three of them um, out of the ones they offer and this one being my favorite my complaint with them is that I never get to the bottom of the tub before it starts to go off and this really does go off I kept it in my fridge and I went to use it and I was like oh it's getting a little bit mildewy so um, I just cleaned it out and I'll return the pot I don't think you can use these smaller pots towards their sort of return five to lush and get a free fresh fresh face mask but when I do do my five back and get a fresh face mask this will be the one that I pick up again although they're affordable I think that they're not necessarily the best value for money because I always end up wasting some of the product in here and having to throw it away before it goes off um, and having to throw some away because it goes off before I get a chance to use it up this is an effective exfoliating face mask to give normal to oily skin a radiant glow with polishing almond shells, softening almond oil, soothing lavender oil, and the magical tightening action of Fuller's Earth. It's a gritty mask. It's green in colour. It's a little bit messy to apply because it has got those bits in it, um, and it has a lavender fragrance. It's nice and relaxing to use from that lavender oil. But I really, really like this because... I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for acne prone skin because it has got those granules in that are probably going to be a little bit too harsh if you have an active breakout. But if you suffer from blackheads, this is fantastic. For me, I'm not saying it's a dupe, but it has very similar effects on my skin as Glam Glow, but for considerably less money. So I would highly recommend checking this out if you can. Not quite a dupe, but very, very similar results. And that's why I like it and I wanted to mention it. Last beauty favourite I'm going to mention is a mascara. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes at the moment, and I have mentioned this previously on my channel. Unfortunately, it's only available to my Canadian subscribers, so I know there's a few of you. Thank you for um, supporting my channel. This is the Marcel Extension Plus Mascara. I don't know, maybe if you're not in Canada, you could probably find this on Amazon or something. It's designed to be lengthening and curling, but I really like this because... It is lengthening and it holds a curl well, but it's also very buildable and you can get nice volume with this. It's um, just a plastic bristle wand, but as I said, I like it because it's so buildable. You can even get into those small lashes because it's a nice thin wand underneath as well. Really nice mascara and I honestly wouldn't ever have come across this if it hadn't been sent to me in a swap with my friend here on YouTube, Carly Jean X. Doesn't really do YouTube videos as often as I'd like her to do anymore, but... Um, really love this so thank you for sending that to me i have got just two non-beauty favorites that i wanted to very quickly share um first up are these shoes from carvella i really like these they're just, they're just plain black quartz but as you can see half of them is patent leather and the other half is suede so i like them i think they're quite cool they are high for me they're very comfortable i'm used to wearing high heels anyway so no problem find them comfortable to wear it and they go with lots of different things good for work and meetings and nights out alike and then finally I just wanted to say I've been getting really into Gossip Girl all over again I have Netflix and when I first subscribed to Netflix I was like this is rubbish I can't find any of the movies that I wanted I kind of thought that it would be a lot more up-to-date in terms of movies like love film but and they have got a few movies. I recently watched Dallas Buyers Club, for example. For TV series, it's really good. I've really enjoyed watching Orange is the New Black. And now I'm on to Gossip Girl. I'm up to season four. Don't give me any spoilers. I used to watch Gossip Girl when it first came out, but I only got up to around season two or three. So I remember some of the episodes, but now it's all new and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely hooked. And I'm kind of getting really into it and keep wanting to wear hair buns. And I keep wanting to do Gossip Girl inspired tutorials, but that's probably a little bit too dated. Anyway, 
Do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what, if you had to narrow it down, I would love to hear what your single favourite product or discovery of January 2015 has been. So do drop a comment below. Give this a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.